Hello from Mars Flare Blitz and welcome back to Amuri, this lovely adventure. Pfft. Hey, Pfft. you, yeah, you over there. What? Um, Amori? I think that mailbox is talking to us. Maybe we should go check it out. Okay. What do you want? Yes, yes. Hello, valued customer. Welcome to my shop. Please buy something. <laughs> okay, we'll buy something if we can. Let's see. We can get candy, which heals 30. Heart. Heals 25. Juice. Um, jacks, okay, deal small damage to all foes, reduce their speed, nice, also a present, it's not what you wanted, inflicts anger on a friend or foe, what a present is this, it's more like a, I don't know what you call it, it's not, it's a very, very angry present, yeah, that's as useful as I can come up with at this point in time, right, um, I want to buy three of those, and we'll buy two of those. Cool. We've got ourselves stuff to survive with um, if we don't have the picnic to our advantage. Okay. Train station. Pinwheel Forest. Basil's house. We will go the other two ways just in case. Let's see what's going on. Um, Amori, we're supposed to go to my house. It's just past the path south of the playground. I just finished planting some little sprouts and wants to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. Okay, we'll go there then, but let's see what's over here. Oh, we can't go up here. Transportation station. It doesn't seem to be in service. How does the train get here then? Is it imaginary? Okay, I get it. I get what you want me to do. We'll go over there then, down south. Hope you're having a fantastic New Year so far. Uh, not much has happened, obviously, because it's the first out of 365 days of this year. But hopefully it's going to be a better journey than what it was in 2020. These are sunflowers. They're cool, right? Because they always face towards the sun. Are you sure? That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. What is the dark side of a sunflower? A watering can. You can never ignore the darkness within this place. The underbelly that is the darkness that is within this game. It may look cute on the outside, but it is very dark. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. Goodness sakes, not this flower again. I came across this flower in a game called Bloody Chronicles. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. Yes, yeah, stay positive. That is a very, very good mindset to have. Hello. Oh my god, it's um... What is one of those things? Whoa. What's that ugly plant creature? Uh, it's a mandrake. Don't you know, Kel? Oh, that's a sprout mole. Sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures, but become dangerously vicious when they are lost. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop that. You're stomping over all the flowers. He's, we're going to need to battle him. I'd say don't tease it. Oh. Well, it looks like this thing is angry. Ah, looks like this Sprout Mole is angry. Like us, Sprout Moles also feel emotions. Since its sprout mole is angry, its attack is high, but on the other hand, it lowers its defense. So what you're saying is, now is the perfect time to strike. Come on, Omori, let's do this. Um, sometimes the most direct path is not always the wisest. So we're gonna put it, we're gonna have it be sad. Um, how do you, oh, push shift, okay, cool. That one. Then attack, yeah. Uh, no, uh, can I use, what's that, toy? We haven't got a good toy, we're not that far into the game just yet. Uh, skill, I don't want to annoy it, it's already angry. Um, that's my healer. Okay. Now it's shared, good. It could be the other way around. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, okay, let's just... Let's just attack. Let's just attack this Hellion. Nice. 
Nice bit of damage here. Three. Nice it also loses juice while it's set. You do you mind? I have myself a duty here to perform, and that is by exterminating you from these realms. Sprout Mole. Lost one. Is that it? There we go, it's down now for the count. Amori's party was victorious, and for the first time, we we're not all flattened. You gained 14 experience. Two clamps! Excellent. Let's see. Ah, most of the flowers are unharmed. That's a relief. Hey, Omori, now that we're getting the hang of battling, here's a journal where we can keep track of any neat foes we come across. Hero gave you the faux facts journal. That's a lovely journal to have, actually. There, now it's in your pocket. We could fit anything in our pockets when it's a game. We could put one of those trees in our pocket. The journal is yours to record with, but it might pitch in sometimes too. Teamwork makes the dream work after all. Check it through your pocket in the player menu by pressing X. Thanks. Is that advice for the player? Uh, oh yeah, we need to go to our friend in order to save. Oh yeah. Uh, the only reason why Omori is uh, close to level 2 is because of boss. He wiped out the other three and left Omori with 1 HP. Um, I want you to cook up something. Uh, I want you to use on... Aubrey, because she's taking damage. Yeah, you can use certain skills outside of battle, which is very neat. Oh, I forgot we could run. These are roses. Can you guess who they remind me of? Uh, they remind me of Hero. Did you guess, guess correctly? Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meanings. Pink roses symbolize admiration. Orange rose, sorry, orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow roses symbolize friendship. And the list goes on. I would have thought red would symbolize passion. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all roses because he's versatile and universally loved. Are you going to keep simping for Hero? A watering can. Is that the next trend? Ah! These are a type of flower called the gladius. Gladiolus? The gladiol what? Gladiolus. Also, well, I thought it was along those lines. Also known as the sword flower. As you might guess, it represents strength of character. Someone who is honest with strong moral values. Someone who stands by their convictions. The gladius reminds me of Arbore because she's always true to herself. Oh, I see. So what you're saying is that Arbore is really stubborn. I can hear you. Hey, no I'm not. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Yeah, let's stop purposely picking fights. Oh, another one of these. Oh no, not again. Please, Mr. Sprout Mall, stop twirling. I read it as twerking, by the way. <laughs> You're destroying all the flowers. And going to attack us again. Oh, this one's... Oh, I see. This Sprout Mall is happy. In that case, it has a higher chance to hit our weak spots and do more damage. But this also means it has a high chance of missing. I don't like those odds. Yeah, one thing, but there's also another thing. Hmm, I want you to be sad. No, uh, hold on. Sad. I'm remembering those controls, for goodness sakes. <laughs> Attack this one. Make it be sad. Oh, great. You're going to be sad, okay? You're not going to be happy. You're going to lose juice every time we attack you. So that you can't do your better abilities. You'll be stuck to your default abilities, dear Sprout. Imagine this is like the first thing that you come across in other games. Like, the first foe that you meet is a Sprout. Sprout Mole is a mole that is early in development. Okay. Just keep on going. There's going to be times in this game where I'm going to do a battle and then just literally cut out the battle because it's something that we've already seen. But this is still within like the tutorial stages. So we'll stick this out for a while and see what the dialogue is. I love, I love Art Bray's expression. She looks so happy and cheerful. <laughs> I'm in heaven. Amari grew to level two. Hell yeah. 
That is good. When we live alone. Hmm, we seem to be running across a lot of foes with emotion. In case you didn't know, emotions can determine how strong or weak an attack is. Happy beats Oh, okay, so it's like an attribute triangle thing. Happy beats angry. Angry beats sad, but sad beats happy. Here, I even drew up a guide on how they work. I'm no artist, but I think you'll get the point. I'll put it in your pocket so you can check it out later. Yeah, because when time is on our side, we don't need a highly artistic diagram showing us what does what. Just put some names and some arrows. There we go. You got an emotion chart. Do you want to look at the emotion chart now? Yes, please. Yeah, something like that. So we're all neutral. So, okay, okay, okay. Strong, weak. Strong, weak, strong, weak. Oh, Molly. Right, I see. Ah, sad foe has some damage to heart and damage to juice. Um, being strong means your hit rate is reduced, but your speed and luck is increased. While being angry also increases your attack power, base attack power, and decreases your defense. Okey pokey. I think we can live with that. I'd rather put them as sad. I don't know why. I just think that skills are a very important thing to cast in turn-based strategy games. And also real-time strategy games. So, if you remove that, they've... You can literally reduce them to where they can only produce their default attack. Whoa! What are these flowers called? They're cool and spiky. Of course, they could have an outstandingly high amount of juice, so it could be useless in that regard. Depending on how much juice you take out of them. Actually, Kel, this is a cactus. It's more of a plant than a flower, yeah? And it's funny that you ask, because they remind me of you. Is it because... <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, but okay, you just had to say those words right out of me, Aubrey. <laughs> hey, well, that too, but mostly because cactuses are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. We don't need much care and can survive even in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of a cactus, Kel. Whoa, neat. Cactuses are awesome. They sure are. When's the last time you watched your cactus, but it's still surviving? There we go. Ah, these are white tulips. Plain, simple. Why did I think it was going to be Omori? Why did I think that as well? <laughs> uh, just like Omori. I don't know. I just think it's cute. Call me plain and simple, for goodness sakes. And another one of these. I mean, is this one going to be sad? Ah, uh, no, another sprout mole. It's all good, Basil. We got the hang of this by now. We sure do. We sure do, boys. Oh, so, okay, so that's why we can cast emotions upon our friends as well as the foes. Hmm. This sprout mole seems a bit sad. See how it's curled up in, in the fetal position? That means it won't do as much damage as normal. But it'll also take less damage to heart and will lose juice instead. How sad. Let's put it out of its misery. Fine, we'll do that then. Uh... But if it's sad, how can we afford to make others angry? That is a thing, right? Um, uh, predicts who a foe will target next. Is that really even needed? Because that would have to activate before everyone else can cast their attack so that we can be well prepared. Uh, attack the Sprout Mole. What have we got? Pep talk, no. Um, skill, you're going to annoy... You're going to annoy our... No, you're going to annoy Omori. And you're going to attack. Oh, uh, Omori already attacked. Yeah. <laughs> I love the facial expression change, that's good. But god damn it, his now defenses are lowered. But because of the sadness of the creature... We don't need to worry about it. It's kind of leveled it out. Right. Angry. Angry. Let's see if it neutral. Happy. Oh, nice. It was a moving attack. Oh. It was a dull attack, yeah. 
I didn't realize I was, I was a car is angry. Okay. But we're all good with that. I love the background as well. Got very minimal colors, but the details on them are excellent. Two clams. How dare they have clams as their currency. Let's keep going. Let's see what's going on down here. Hey, you moved your picnic. Hi, everyone. You all came just in time for a lovely picnic. How did you move from here to... From there to here? Like, we left before you, but yet you're somehow here. This is a game, by the way. <laughs> Feel free to rest here. Everything is already all set up, and I even bought some fruit. Hey, we've got, can we've got fruit rather than candy. I like that. Ah, yes, some delicious fruits. Would you like to eat some? Absolutely, thank you very much. We're all now restored. You and your friends feel like new. I want to go through as many battles as I can in this game. And I don't know if these battles are randomized or if, all if they're all event based. Munch, munch, munch. Woohoo! Thanks, Mari. You're the best. Oh, it's nothing. I was just trying to look out for all of you. You sure is. Oh, Mari, I wish I could be like you. You always seem to have everything under control. That's not true at all. It just seems that way from the outside. Either way, you sure seem to make everything look easy. Yes, I agree. Mari is so effectively graceful. Graceful, you say? Don't you think so, Amari? Absolutely. Aww. I guess I have to believe in it. Was, believe it a little bit if all of you think so. I love how the line was swirling. It puts a bit of emotion behind it as well as the expressions on the characters. My house is right down this way. Are we all ready to go? I'm ready when you are. We'll catch you up later, Mari. Let me know if you need anything. See you soon. Mari would survive the longest out of all of us because she's one with the supplies. Picnic basket. Absolutely. Um, we'll do that just in case anything gets mucked up throughout the game as in like progress. Come on, Omori. Have some fruit. Fruit is good for you. Fruit is good for you. Absolutely. Um, do you want to have a picnic with your friends? Absolutely. Here's a question, folks. If you were forced to select either one of these two things to eat for the rest of your life, would you rather have fruits or would you rather have vegetables? Me? Vegetables any day. You don't need to prepare them like vegetables. You don't need to eat, so you don't have to cook them like vegetables, etc. It's just plain easy. You can just pick a fruit up and eat it. Of course, there are certain fruits you do need to chop up, like watermelons, peeled bananas, anything. Oh, is this boss again? What's happening down south? Is our mental stability... Oh, that's a giant sprout. Are you okay there? A giant elder sprout. What the hell are you up to? Uh, fight. You're going to cast a sad poem upon... The ye old sprout. <laughs> the ye old sprout. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, you're just going to attack. You're going to cast. Actually, you're going to make Ardre angry. And you're going to do that. Aww. <laughs> and, oh gosh. <laughs> Lovely, lost seven, seven juice as well. Good. Making the foe... Whoa. Do you have to do that? Thank you very much. Fight. Now you're going to attack. Oh my god, that's a lot of HP. We might be back in a little bit, folks. Okay, yeah, I thought that was going to be the case. Oh man, this fight is pretty tough. But don't worry, we could do this if we work together. It looks like I'm going to have to teach you all a little bit about teamwork. Let's try again, Omori. We'll get him this time. What are you doing? Now this battle is reset. Hmm. You notice anything different, Omori? Yeah, he's got a big elf gauge. And he fills up the entire screen. You should see a new bar at the bottom of the screen with a number on the side. This is our collective energy. By using our energy, we can defeat this foe together. Just attack and you'll see. Okay, but 
I don't think just attacking will work, will it now? Oh yeah, I want to make it sad, don't I? You see the bubbles that are popped up when we attacked? That's called a follow-up. After you attack, for a limited time you can use energy to perform a follow-up move. Okay, just press any directional arrows and see what happens. Okay, fine, play. I will do what you want me to do. Hmm. Attack again. Annoy Amari this time and you just attack. <laughs> Enraged? What the hell is... Okay, so it must do a stack then. Okay, dokie. <laughs> Maybe I can cast a set of few? Man, this guy really is tough. When he attacked us, did you notice our energy went up? When we take damage, we also gain energy. Think of it as a chance to make a comeback. Yes, but I don't want to make our friend even more angry, for goodness sakes. Like, for goodness sakes, look how enraged she is at the top left. <laughs> nice, we're full of energy. This is a perfect time to use our special attack. Omori, after your attack, press down to release energy. I hope you're all ready. Come on, everyone. Let's show this big guy what we're made of. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that, don't you worry. Release energy! I did... I thought I did... Oh, there we go. Oh, isn't this good? <laughs> there we go. And lost 96 juice because it's sad. There we go. <laughs> I was more impressed by the number of juice that it lost. Amari's party was victorious. With the power of friendship. And a lot of fisticuffs, anything is possible. Amari's party was victorious. She gained 150 experience. She got 50 clams. Ah, level 3. And a stab. Level 3. Kill level 3. Hero level 3. And nerd massage. Why didn't Aubrey learn anything? Maybe it's another level. It's like Pokemon. Not all Pokemon learn moves at the same level. And there you have it. Heroes Battle Tutorial 101. And I'm sure that as we fight more battles, our teamwork will improve over time. This game continues to be a delight. Woo, you guys. That was so amazing. Yes. You see a battle now, not on the perspective of the one that is held in you hostage. Ah, that was nothing. <laughs> I've taken down way bigger guys than that, like boss. I should teach you some of my skills once of, one of these days. Basil, I know you're not the type that likes to fight. But it's good to know how to defend yourself, too. You know, I've actually been working on a book about all, ba all about battles. Maybe we can all study together next time. I'll give it to Omari to hold on to for now. Your self-help guide. Lovely. As we get stronger, I'll be updating the follow-up section of the self-help guide, so be sure to check it out every now and then. Omari should know. When we gain experience and level up, sometimes we'll also learn skills. Skills are powerful and have a wide range of effects, but each of us can only remember up to four skills at a time. After you learn a new skill. Okay, so this is basically like Pokemon. <laughs> okay, we get four moves. Aside our default one, which is probably what you also call struggle, minus the, um, the backlash damage. Don't forget to equip it from the... Oh, okay, so we can equip the skills at any time. Okay, cool. It's not like we forget the skills. Yeah, yeah, we know. Can we go to Basil's house now? Okay, that's all I had to say. Patience, Kel. Indeed, patience is virtuous. And sometimes it is a virtue we do not have. Let's heal up first before going to the house. Let's see. Uh, picnic. Wait a minute, hold on. We want fruits. Delicious fruits. That was a big old sprout. Ye, ye old sprout. You and your friends feel like new. When have we not felt like new, for goodness sakes? Save! I mean, say, thank you very much. We'll do ourselves justice. Good. Let's see what this house is like, then. It's a... It's a shoe. 
Wait, where are we? Oh, we're down there. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering where are characters? Where's our lovely characters? Where's our lovely colorful characters? But Omori is black and white. Say cheese! Ah, I remember. She only wants to take pictures of people when they don't expect it. Oh, it came out kind of blurry. Well, you were kind of running, you know. You didn't exactly stay still to take the picture. <laughs> well, that's okay. If that gives it character, yeah, it gives a bit of movement within it. But this isn't a manga. Hope you don't mind the photo. Of course we don't mind. I want to see it. Oh, sure thing. Let's see. We all look so cute. Let's see. How's my hair? And how's my... I want to see. I want to see. Cal, for goodness sakes. And I want to see too. It's a good thing we're all friends here. Because it looks like we're surrounding Basil at the moment. Who would hurt this delicate little flower? Oh, hey, Omori. Do you want to look at the photo too? Ah, <laughs> It is a little blurry. It's too bad it came out blurry. But you all still look so cute. I should add it to my collection. Our lovely collection of photos. Woohoo! Another slot for the photo album. Move over, Aubrey. I can't see it. Hey, stop pushing. You already had your turn. Get out of my way, Kel. But wait, hold on. There's no need to fight. Me first. No, me. Look, I think you two just need to quiet down, okay? Okay, stop it. You guys are knocking me over. And look what you just did. Uh, whoops. Oh my gosh, Basil, I'm so sorry. Are you okay, Basil? You two are in big trouble now. This is why the both of you need to learn how to get along. I'm sorry, we did Yeah, okay, it doesn't matter if you didn't mean to do it or not. You still did it. Please don't tell Ma- We're gonna have to tell Mari. It's okay, don't worry about it. Accidents- yeah, but that's an accident waiting to happen, for goodness sakes. Hmm. Here's your photos. It doesn't look like any of them got damaged. Let's put them back in your photo album together. Thank you, hero. Right, let's go to the house. Let's go inside my house first. Remember to wipe your f Your house is a shoe. Don't you dare put puns in this game like <laughs> I love it. Uh, let's wipe our feet first. But guess what? The entire house is a shoe. Oh dear. Is there going to be a doormat? I hope there's a doormat. We can rub our shoes on the doormat that's inside a shoe. Plants are these for mandrakes. A bunch of potted plants and flowers. Basil loves taking care of the things. Of things. Um, different ones. Okay, let's go inside of a shoe house. And funny enough, it's not the shape of a shoe, but that doesn't matter. Uh, a bunch of potted plants and flowers. Uh, we're going to get the same stuff over and over again. Um, lamp. Nothing. Okay. Still that sort of stuff. A fire. What about this? A bunch of books, mostly about plant care. Does have shoe care in there as well. A fireplace. The fire is warm. Yo, boss. Are you ready to put back the photos, Amari? Absolutely. Yay, let's get started. Mm, darn. I don't think I remember the order of all these photos. Don't worry about a theme, Basil. Amari has a really good memory, so I'm sure we'll figure this out in no time. You know what? I'm going to refer to my screenshots because when I was going through the first episode, I actually screenshotted them in order, I believe. So we'll do that. This one goes here first. Yes, there. And then what have we got? That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, so next page. Um this one goes let's see one two three four five buh, 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 buh. after the kissy one it's that one and then the next one would be this one down here and this is the most recent one goes here 
and we're finished. Basil's memories. I wonder why we need a memories book. I'm just kidding. It's a collect all our memories. There, good as new. I'm really sorry for pushing you over, Basil. Even though at least half of it was Kel's fault. Yeah, I'll probably never fight with Arbre ever again. Unless she starts it first. You both keep lingering like that. Oh, don't worry about it. I know you wanted to see my phone the photo album. Thank you for helping me put it back together. Yes, with a silent helper here. Uh oh, what's that? Hmm? That's strange. A photo must have been loose. What photo is it? Uh what is this? Did I take this photo? Something about it seems so familiar. No, that can't... Oh, what the hell is appearing below you? Okay, I knew there was a dark underbelly in this game of sorts. Mari... Shit, what? What the hell is that? That was ominous. Not gonna lie, that was kind of creepy. Um... Meow. Not much to do around here, is there? I'm sorry, a tissue box of wiping your sorrows away. Um, your sketchbook. Take a look inside. Okay. Um. Oh, okay, we've got a sketch at the end of the sketchbook, so... We've still got stuff over here. I think this game is partially inspired by Umaniki, in a way. Let's see, let's look at this laptop. Put up the laptop. What would you like to do? Um... Open your journal. Still the same stuff every day, though. That's the alarming thing. Stare at the screen. Hmm. It looks like a daily routine. The heat from the laptop warms your lap. It felt nice. Okay. Light bulb hangs from the CD. Wherever it is. Look into the light bulb, yes. Hmm. It's pitch black inside. You can't see a thing. Oh, dearie me. Um, so what do we do from here? Or is there? Are you looking for a way out? Yep. There's always this one, but... Waiting for something to happen? Yes, I am. I am always waiting for stuff to happen. Maybe I need one of these things to chase me. And put me back at the beginning. Yes, I'm waiting for something to happen, okay? We got in this predicament last time. Is that really the case? We need to stab myself? Okay. Oh. Okay, was that the solution all along then? Look at all of us. Like, I could not physically find another way out of that realm, then. These are all of our memories together. Photos. But there's many more photos in there that we've yet to collect inside of the game. They're a little sad now. But we should be happy that they happened at all. Mm-hmm. They say it is better to love and lost rather than to never love at all. Let's make some new memories together, okay? What happened around Mari's house? Or, I'm um, sorry, uh, Basil's house. And what happened there? So mysterious. That's why people love this game as well. And myself as well. Lovely. But ominous. You see a boy sleeping in his room. What's his name? What is his name? His name is... Okay, we... I know it's going to be boring, but we're going to just refer to these as the default name. I'm sorry, folks. I'm not going to name my... The boy's name is Sonny. Okay, yep. His name is Sonny. What if it's going to be like an Easter egg in a game where... 
if you name it certain um, names, it has an Easter egg to it. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, is this for real? Ah, oh, this is a real life version. Okay. Hey, Sonny, it's Mommy. I'm still in the city setting things up for our new home. Did you finish packing yet? The movers are going to be at our house in a few days, so I left a list of things for you to do before they arrive. Also, sorry. Mommy messed up. I forgot to tell the electric company that we need a few extra days before we're ready to move, so the lights might cut out some time tonight. Anyway, I know moving to a new place can be a little nerve-wracking right now, but I think a change of scenery will be po positive for both of us. Okay, so it's a family of two. I know you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but you might want to say goodbye to your old friends before we leave. Kel has been trying really hard to get a hold of you ever since we put our house up for sale. He's been calling us every week for the past few months. He seems a little lonely. Maybe you should pay him a visit. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. There we go, then. You are hungry. So, our next dream would have to focus on Kel, then, if we're going to hopefully succeed in this, because I think... That um, what mum says in this game is saying that we should follow. Cardboard boxes are littered across the house. So many stuff. So much stuff, so little time. Okay, so our real life name is... I, I wish I could have called him Flair, actually. <laughs> I don't know why I thought maybe there was more than one person that we need to name in the game. A small fake house plant. If you'd like me to, then I can go back into the game, so therefore I can rename my character as Flair. Uh, or if it was a female character, Flarina. A toilet! Uh, some towels and toiletries. Oh, hi, Sunny. This is a note for Mommy. Remember to brush your teeth every day. Why are there blood handprints in the mirror? Love you, XOXO. Maybe it's just a message. Oh! It is me in the mirror. How you all doing? A bathtub. A bathtub. Last time I had that kind of portrait in a game, I believe it's from a game called Living Playground. A small fake house plant. Except the character in there was happy. This one's a more normal looking, exp a normal expression. Like when you don't pull a face and stuff like that, like that's your normal expression. Cardboard boxes are listed across the house. Default expression. Some family photos. Again, they look like... Okay, maybe... Okay, let's take a closer look, but not blood. I don't know why I think they look like blood. An empty picnic basket! Which I just saved. Absol... Why is this one empty? That's not fair. That's not fair with me whatsoever. Thank you very much. This bookcase has been cleared out. How dare it be like that? I thought there was a chessboard on a table there for a second. But I'm glad it's a picnic. Couple, okay. We're going to keep getting the same dialogue, aren't we now? And we're not going to get dialogue for that thing. Uh, Pat, are you sure you want to go downstairs? Not yet. But I, I'm hungry. That's why I want to go downstairs to the kitchen. Some family photos. Uh, more cardboard boxes. So many cardboard boxes. I do thank you very much. Oh, are we going to trip? Nope. Not possible. We need a light source. Um, where do we find ourselves a light source around here so we can go down there without fearing the darkness? Because apparently the electricity is now out in this place. Uh, can we use this phone? You have no new messages. I wish I could use the phone's light source. Thank you very much. I thought that was like a logical thing to deduct. Like your home phone would admit its source of light. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? A wardrobe. Can we not find anything in this place? Okay, so... Equip. Um, just hands. <laughs> These are all you have. Look, okay? I'm trying to do my best here. Skills. Select who? I've got no skills. And also, Sunny has a lot of HP. 
Sometimes 80 might be a very, very small amount of HP, but other times it could be a massive amount. God, this is a puzzle game in itself. Maybe then just go for all these cardboard boxes to see. One of two old grandfather clocks. They stopped working a long time ago, but mum likes to keep them around for nostalgic purposes. For memories. They like to hold on to stuff even though they don't work. Because it it's a part of your past and part of your present. A table lamp. We can't put it on. Um, no, not right now. I've got no progression. The mattress is too hard for you to sleep comfortably. Well, you don't sleep on mom's bed because mom's bed is for mom. Okay. What do we do? If we can't go downstairs because we haven't got a light source, then where can we find a light source? Bathtubs all around. Uh, toilet, yes. Hmm. Brush your teeth, yes. I want to brush my teeth. I really do. Is there going to be a little jump scare? Like, there's a rare chance of something that's just going to appear. Small fake house plant. Why do I follow light source? I can't go downstairs. You don't want to go... You don't want to go downstairs. You don't want to look down. Look. Okay. I see how this is. You feel dizzy. Maybe you can sleep it off. Look. We're just going to go through it, okay? You feel dizzy. Oh, maybe you can sleep it off. Fine, then. We'll do that. I thought we felt hungry. A very comfortable bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Yes, please. I'm guessing we have to make do with our current status then. Yeah, we're hungry. That was a growling sound. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, it's red outside. An eerie red glow radiates from outside. You feel strangely drawn to it. Let's just go. What the hell? How is that downstairs? How high up are we living? But this is a fantasy scenario, so... Whoa, what are all those arms? God, this is creepy as hell. We're descending down into the depths of our own mind, in a way. Oh, there's more of them! More hands grabbing out towards us! Oh gosh, we're freezing. Um, okay. The only way to out of this is to stab ourselves. Very morbid. Or maybe... Hmm... Maybe we... Do we need to stab ourselves? Oh! Um... Equip. Uh... Yeah, we've got a shiny knife. What of it? We can't go back now. Oh, these things are... They probably can't touch us, but they give us that feeling that we feel completely isolated. Oh. Oh. Well, I thought the shadowy hands were going away. Afraid. Um. What will Sonny do? Um. Attack? Something. Yeah. Uh. Attack did nothing. Run. We can't run. Oh, gosh. I feel like this is going to be an antagonist of the entire game. Like, our own feelings and desire Not desires, but... Sunny. Run. Why can't we run away? We can't do anything against this thing. Hmm, did nothing. No, not gonna be it. Uh, taunt Sunny as he falls. Great. Take a deep breath. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. Our imagination said so, otherwise, you said it yourself. And remember how to calm down. Uh, skill. Calm down. Oh. Okay, but we're still af oh, we're at neutral now. Cool. This is deeply involved. And we're... Okay. <laughs> we made our journey much longer than it is because of our fear of going downstairs. Or it's a fear of something that's within the darkness. You got a first aid kit. Okay. 
I don't need to use it right now, but that is handy to have. Ordinary house plot. We're are we hungry. We don't want to go there. Okay. Uh, this way then. Oh, I've got different areas. Aha! I've got a knife as well. Maybe we should explore the other rooms in the house first. Nope. Okay. Then what about the front? Okay, that's, that's most likely the front door. And this is a room with more stuff. The game literally wants us to go into the kitchen, but no. I'm going to look around here and see if there's anything that is on the side of the game. For goodness sakes. You got a bandage. Lovely. I wouldn't be able to discover that if I just went through the main course of the game. Thank you very much. Uh, shoe rack. Some family photos. More boxes. Even more boxes. It's across the house. Again with that. We cannot go outside. Hmm. Fireplace. The nails stuck between the bricks. So it's like a fireplace if there's nails stuck between... I don't know why I was thinking of Insanity and one of the fireplaces in that game where it just acts as like a fireplace but it really isn't. Hi Sonny, this is a note from Mommy. If you leave a house, remember to look both ways before crossing the street. Love you, XOXO. What do the O's represent? I can never get, but I know what the X's represent, but never the O's. You look in the fridge and find cold steak. Take it. But we can't have it cold. You should probably heat up. Yeah, I was thinking that. Uh, knife. We'll take the knife. You pick up a steak knife. Um, can we do anything? A steak knife, a shiny knife. We cannot do anything with this. I thought he picked up a knife on the staircase, but it's a psychological event. You put the cold steak in the microwave. If our character was a vegetarian or vegan, he wouldn't be able to hear this. You got microwave steak. Okay, put it on there. Ah oh, yes, a lovely well done steak. Would you like to eat some? Absolutely. We've got the knife so you can cut it up. Oh, looks a little bloody. Oh, what's that? That scroll. That's not a scroll, it's a handkerchief of sorts. Or a napkin. Let's see here. Did that satiate our hunger? Remo oh, but we're feeling dizzy. Oh, your stomach didn't agree with that. Oh no, everything is blurry. Maybe we need to go to the toilet. I'm sorry for saying that, folks. That's Mom's room, that's the toilet over there. Hmm. This is definitely... Yeah, I thought so. I thought that might have been the case, but that w Oh, good, good, you f Oh, you threw up. Goodness sakes, this microwavable steak is... Goodness sakes. Or maybe... Oh, it could be another thing as well that might be in tow. Oh. There was some knocking. Who is around these parts? Yeah, there's some knocking involved. Where's the noise coming from? Oh. Mari. Hey, Sonny. It's Mari. I'm finally back home, but I forgot my keys. Could you open the door for me? Hmm. Do you remember where the keys are? What would you like to do? Open the door, obviously. Well, it could be a monster. Oh. Well, there is something there. Oh. Oh, well then. Nope. Yeah, I would think otherwise. A dare that monster disguise itself as one of our friends. Why would you do that? Okay, then let's go to bed. 
Let's go to bed and forget all of this. A very comfortable bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Absolutely. Oh, we should have brushed our teeth, actually. Damn it. Wow. So in a way, it's also like end roll, where most of the events transpire within the game, but outside of a dream is also a scenario where things happen. Welcome to White Space. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. And we're back here. Okay, so there is a bit of a pattern going on here. Meow! Waiting for something to happen? Yeah, there's this door. Well, I don't we can open it yet. Hmm, I'll, I'll do nothing. Okay, you stare at the door. So we need to do something first. Look inside. Oh, was that... I think that steak was there before. Wiping away your sorrows. Hmm. Oh, what? Uh, collect the keys to fill in blanks. Okay. Um... Print screen that. Uh, okay, collect the keys to fill in the blank. In the grass near a stump, on a shrouded old bridge, between giant pinwheels, near an coast off cartage, underneath a wet pillow, uh, within a large frame, beneath a trap door, in a lost prior's Okay, so we've got a bunch of different stuff for this. I want to go with A. Um, how do I... Uh, collect the keys to fill in the blank, but how do we select stuff? I'm pressing Z, but nothing is happening. Press Q to open hangman. Okay. Something fell nearby. Hmm. I don't understand that. Perhaps it was just like a clue and we should have taken on board all of the different, um, uh, different things. Different meanings according to the words. <sighs> okay. But how do we... Like, there's no instructions on what to do. Hmm. Like, how do you actually interact with the game itself? You boot up your laptop. Okay. But what what button do you press? Is it... Sp not spacebar. Not enter. W is to jump pages. E... Z, X. Z is to confirm... This game isn't clear enough on what to do. Okay, folks, I think we're going to leave this in the next time. So, um, I think I saved near enough here. If not, then I'll have to retrace ourselves back to here and try and fathom out how to actually interact with this part of the game because there's no commands on what you need to do. Like, you try and press something, but yet you can't interact with it. I'm pressing Z to interact with it, but there's nothing going on. Okay, thank you all so much for watching, guys, and see you all in the next time of Omari, Omori, one of those two, Omori. Thank you very much, and take care of yourselves.